thing that really turns on Mars and Scorpio is people who open up to them. They, because remember, their one goal in life is to probe deep, to go deep. So if they can go deep with you, they're gonna be absolutely just into it. What does Mars and Scorpio like? The thing that turns them on the most is a display of loyalty. If you're a person who's been in their life for a long time and you show your loyalty to them by taking their side whenever they're in a disagreement or whenever something comes up that requires you to come to their defense, they are going to pay you back for that just eternally. Because to them, loyalty is the most important thing. person, they really value people that have been there for the long haul. People who have stuck and survived the test of time. People who have stuck around and survived the test of time. So that's really important to them. People that stick around and stay forever and ever and ever, that's who they're going to really love and be turned on by. I didn't put that disloyalty is like a, things that take them off or things that make them mad because disloyalty doesn't so much like take them off as much as it crushes them. It just really hurts them because they are so loyal and to have somebody who has been loyal to them then go and turn their back against them or really you know hurt them in some way that just it just crushes them because they pick the best people they really know how to pick people and once they pick somebody they're just like 100% sure of that person so if that person goes and breaks their trust or does something disloyal to them it's absolutely crushing for a score. thought of as weak. They will show you how unweak they are. And they're not weak, so just be careful, watch out. It's somebody who they feel that they need to protect, somebody that needs protection. So like your Neptune or Pisces type people, they're really into that. Because they feel that those people are kind of like angels in this world and they need protecting from the world is so harsh and horrible and I want to be the one to protect them. That is very Mars and Scorpio. They're very protective of the innocent and people who are just good. They have a lot of endurance and they can survive a lot of struggle and a lot of suffering because remember that Scorpio goes deep and goes through the darkest depths of despair and just experience in this life. They experience some dark things. So this Mars can go to hell and back, okay? They can go through anything and be just fine. Going deep with people definitely is something we are built to do. You know, as Martin Scorpio, we uh, we're the kind of people that, in fact, do get involved with other people's problems. Now, I do tr strongly believe that you need boundaries. You need to be able to make sure that, you know, wh whatever time and effort and energy you put into someone, that they're worth that, you know, worth that, you know, putting it into because you know, we don't, we don't want to be used. You know, we're very powerful people. And for us to lend that power, which costs us, you know, a lot of, a lot of trauma to obtain, uh, for us to just to give it to you like that, that you, know, you really should, you know, be, you know, should learn it. But, you know, if for every other person out there on, you know, YouTube who is saying, go, oh, don't get all the people's problems, that's not us. We, we're built for that sort of thing. We probe into other people's, you know, issues. And if, you know, if you're like me, you do it because you really want to help people. And therefore, talking about, you know, childhood trauma just doesn't bother you whatsoever. You know, but the issue is though, and this is the problem, I've gone through so many of these experiences where a person does not want to open up to you. And it's not because you're not trustworthy, but it's because somebody else did something to them 
that caused them to close themselves off. And even though you yourself know that you are a trustworthy per person, you are nothing like the people that did the things they uh, did, they, you know, almost always go into protective mode and they shut you off, you know, even though you were the very thing that they would definitely need in their life. You know this, they don't know this, but you have to basically pay for, uh, for the consequences that somebody else did. And that really sucks for for us, but it is what it is. As a Mars and Scorpio person, you betcha I have been betrayed, you know, many times before in the past by people that I, I cared about. You know, and there's just certain things I don't understand uh, about when it comes to surrounding this whole loyalty shit, or I should say disloyalty, is why is it the when people screw you over they never seem to take the time the same time the same thoughts the same emotions the same effort in trying to resolve the issue as they did when they were trying to destroy you <laughs> and another thing is these people a lot of these types of people that screw with us I always find that they seem to think that time is on their side if they just wait it out Right? If they screw with you and do something they're not supposed to do, if they just wait it out long enough, the problem will go away. They don't ever address anything to you directly. You know, They don't apologize, they don't talk about it, they don't do any of that. And yet, again, they think that time is going to be the thing that resolves everything, and it's never the case. And you are damn right about us picking the right people. We are usually very good at doing it, and that's because we will analyze the shit out of you. <laughs> before we are willing to say we trust you we look at your behavior and how you behave and where your boundaries are and how much are you willing to take or give and it's you period well we will analyze you and when we find out that you know you we can trust you you know you've you've learned your lessons you are at a certain level of maturity and yada 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 you know then we will we will definitely trust you but all I have to say though when we're younger is where we are more prone to, you know, choose all the wrong people. And all that really does is help us learn and grow and, and re, you know, re reflect and reevaluate, you know, how we go about relationships and how we, you know, how we have, how have we, you know, come to that conclusion that we trust the person we find out we didn't, you know, so we, we do essentially become more cautious. But I'm not, I'm not the kind of person who really will use what somebody else did. You know, and say, oh, I can't, I can't trust you because this person did this to me and I learned my lesson to that. I don't, I don't do that. I give everyone a clean slate no matter what, you know. All it does, though, is, is at least, you know, the shock value is not there anymore. You know, because I'm like, yeah, I know that a certain type of person usually does this. You'll probably do this, too, but it wouldn't be right for me to just, you know, throw what somebody else did, you know, to me onto you. You know, that wouldn't be right. But I, I at least know better. And so, you know, the shock value is not, not there anymore. I don't get as hurt because I have learned my lesson. You know, and then there's sometimes those cases where you, you did all that. You analyze people to death. You know them very, very well. You spent years with them, yada, yada, yada. And yet, for whatever reason, they, because they are a free person, they have their own free will, they choose to do something that is not in alignment with what you're, you know, you're all about. Right, and it's not just a disagreement, but it's outright, you know, somebody just trying to, you know, trick you or lie to you or whatever the case is. Then when it becomes that, it's not about us reflecting at that point. It's just we reflect on you, and realize that you, you know, you're no longer the person that we can trust. Right. So and I say this with a hundred percent sincerity, but you are literally the only astrologer that I have ever heard on YouTube say that Mars and Scorpio like to protect, you know, the Pisces type of people, and that is, like, very much true. We like to protect the, the innocent types of people. And, you know, the reason for that, anyways, for me, I can't speak for any other Mars and Scorpio person other than myself, but the reason for that is because you have seen, you know, you know what it's like to, to be innocent. You know what it's like to be vulnerable. You know what it's like to, to see the world in you know, in, in such a innocent sort of way, and to have people in your life just rip you apart 
because of your gullibility, when you see somebody else who was in that same position you were, you're in, and plus you've seen a lot worse. If you like m me, you've seen so much, so much of the ugliness of this world, and you see one of these people, it's like nobody was there for you, right, to protect you, but you're there for them, and so you can be there and you know at least try your best to show them, you know, if they're doing something that's not good for them, at least at least say something about it, or at least show them, you know, what you what you found because oh, I think for me is it's a lot of a lot of it has to do with, for me anyways it's information information I search and a lot of times information that just see, sort of comes to me and the downfall to this though is you know sometimes these ty these Pisces types of people can can be scared of you you know because you are dark you're intense and you know you're you're very much a scorpion right you're uh, you're going to see, you're going to dwell in that, in that mess that a pi, like a stereotypical Pisces would not want to be in, right? But the thing I could never understand about people, about, you know, when they talk about this placement, is how scary, scary we are, right? Don't piss off a of Mars and Scorpio, they'll destroy you, your family, they'll do all kinds of heinous shit. And a lot of fear, uh, a lot of fear, a lot of anger, a lot of all this stuff being projected at us for having this placement. But let's let's think about this first. Uh, Mars and Scorpio is a slow burning uh, placement, right? It's not Mars and Aries. But Mars and Aries will be quick to express their anger. Um, you know, as a Mars and Scorpio, we're going to take our sweet time getting there. In fact, I'll put it this way. If you get a Martin Scorpio that angry, and they get to the point where they just no longer care anymore, right? And they're letting that Mars come out. My question to you is, what did you do to get them pissed off? Because I'm going to say that chances are you probably deserve it. Because more than likely that Martin Scorpio person gave you several warnings beforehand. Told you to stop. Told you, you know, let's handle this peacefully whatever chances are you cross the line and even though in your head you thought you were doing the right thing it doesn't matter because you you still were going after us you know and you get us to that certain point what I don't understand is why are we the bad guy well we finally don't care we finally do get angry we had all this shit being projected as you know in the beginning with now all of a sudden we're the bad guy because we, we had enough you know and you are definitely right about us not wanting to be perceived as weak because we are absolutely not weak. Not at all. We are just tolerant. <laughs> difference there's a huge difference between tolerant and weak. Weak is we don't we can't defend ourselves. We can very much defend ourselves if we we are pushed to that point. But we as I said we are just tolerant people. And I, I still believe that uh, Al Capone himself best said it when he said, Don't take my uh, kindness for weakness. 